In this episode, we say goodbye to Darwin. Head to the airport so that we can explore the wonders of Puerto Galera. We are greeted with drinks at Scandi Dive Resort and then promptly thrown onto a boat to explore the local flora and fauna. Thank you for joining the dive today. You are watching Crater Hunter. Travel day. It's really early. Alex is here to take us to the ferry. That'll take us to Cebu. Then a taxi to the airport. No, taxi to hotel. We don't fly for a couple days. But then we go to Puerto Galera. So I just got the text from the contractor. Did you like the design yeah. of the house? Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, this is very nice. So they should start when I get back from Puerto Galera. They're ordering all the blocks and cement stuff now. So then they'll start the foundation. So it should be good. So uh shout out to Brian Davies and everybody that well a lot of people that helped us uh build your house. Huh? Yeah. We just got a flat tire. <laughs> oh no, the shop is closed. Oh, shit. Oh, this one. You know that old pumpkin? Huh? I will put that there. Oh, where are they? Hey, how are you? It's actually not that flat, it's just a little bit low and all the motorcycles are pulling up next to us telling us we have a flat tire. Whatever, we'll air it up. But we're definitely late now for the ferry. Alex borrowed this car because it has more headroom than uh, his little critter getter. <laughs> what time does the boat leave? I don't know. Nine? No. We made it. Five minutes early. In Filipino time, that's practically a day early. Roro. Now I remember what it's like traveling with all my scuba gear when I used to be a travel writer. I was on a plane every five or seven days with all my gear. Heavy. Hello Cebu. from the black sands to the white sands. Where you go? Huh? Where you go? I said, you can't go. I 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 can't
Did you get us all checked in? Yeah. Yeah? Uh, what floor are we on? I don't know yet. Cool. Just arrived in Cebu City. Man that way. Tomorrow, immigration. So, immigration is done. I got my marriage visa all good for like years and years now. My tourist visa was almost over, like three years, something. So I'm surprised how easy it went to get my marriage 13A thingy. But now we're gonna hang out and we got a flight in the morning to Manila where they'll pick us up to go to uh, Puerto Galera, do some diving. Right? Yeah, I'm ready. Cebu Airport had a lot of construction since I've been here the last couple of years. It's really nice now. It's freaking huge. What are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, it's huge. Second story, you can park right at the door. It's nice. Check in time. No. No. All right. Just gear. Yeah. Where did you put all the 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 camera? I mean the battery of the camera. In this. this in this bag. one. Nothing over there, no. No. Nothing expensive in that. Well, <laughs> scuba gear, but not camera gear. How much did we pay? Two thousand. For the existing. Because we didn't pay for luggage online. Your pants button is metal. <laughs> they didn't search me, but you're suspicious. <laughs> no, just not really. My, they made me just carry like my bug. I my bra. They bra made me one. carry her purse <laughs> because her carry-on is too heavy. So I look like a little girl. 
and then all the weird underwater camera parts are in my bag so it looks really suspicious like long tubes and arms and he's like what's this <laughs> a tripod leg i don't know okay sir Ready? but my bra has a wire on it so <laughs> oh that's gonna be in the uh video yeah You're not social distancing me. No, you're the one who's like... You're crowding me. Yeah. Get oh, out of here. Oh, oh, oh. It's time to board the plane. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Look, I'm looking forward for this one. For Hot that. meal, drink, snack. Oh, Bali. <laughs> hey, <the> boo. <laughs> <laughs> boo <-hong. laughs> for fatty fatty I think your soul left. What's this one? Try Try. Try. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, huh? Okay. Oh my god, this one is a huge van. We made it to the port where the boat's gonna take us right to the resort. Just gotta wait for the boat, speedboat. 
Hello, Judea. Hello. Sun is setting. Oh no! He's oh. <laughs> <laughs> bang! <laughs> Tidal wave. Ali! Ali! <laughs> You're crazy! You're making somebody's heart like. Yeah, you! Getting on the boat, everybody said, Be careful, careful, sir. It's slippery. <laughs> so when I got there, I acted like I slipped. Ah! And everybody at once, Allah! <laughs> Allah! <laughs> Filipino style. I thought I was patay for sure. <laughs> We made it. Nice little white beach. Now my fat ass is gonna jump off the boat. <laughs> this is where, uh, this is the restaurant. Yes, restaurant up there. So your room is on the second floor. Stairs. The next area. After you. Oh my god. Fancy. <laughs> You're so funny. Welcome to Scaly. <laughs> yeah, it's a really nice room. Hey, I just realized I know it's dark, but yeah. Uh, in the morning, we're the beach is in front of our door. So we're gonna see the sunrise and the beach. No, this door. Oh, okay. From front desk, they bring it for here. Okay, salamat. Thank you, salamat. Thank you. For my dive gear. But yeah, the beach is, the beach is right there in front of our room. <laughs> oh, you can't see now, it's too dark. Ah, uh, it's really nice, look. Yeah, let's see what it looks like in the morning. I'm gonna, oh, I didn't even see the bed. The bed is just so cute. <laughs> That hurt. Morning, peeps. So, 7 a.m. It's dive day. It's always, I know, it's always dive day. But look at this beach. So nice. Got my uh, camera gear ready. One challenge is gonna be uh, <clears throat> sticking to the diet when I'm on the road. Um, but anyway, let's go find the boat. Morning. How's it going? Very good. <laughs> Good to see you. Dive time. <laughs> Dive's coming up very shortly. You guys got a nice beach. Yeah. So, uh, Beautiful spot here. these are the dive sites? Yeah. Hopefully we have 46 dive sites. And most of the dive site is technical dive. Where are we at now? So, we are in number oh, yeah. in the front. Right. Okay. So most of the dive site on this side is corals and then going inside is a map dive. Oh, big old bay, huh? 
Yeah. What What are we doing today? So we're going uh, inside the bay. So okay. like uh, number six is Secret Bay or um, Shipyard. Morning, guys. So. As you guys know, we just arrived in Porta Galera last night. It was a little too dark to film anything. In fact, I didn't even know how nice it was here until this morning. It's only 8 a.m. right now. We're getting ready to have breakfast. And this week, we're going to be here all week exploring, seeing what different species they have here than we do in Dawin. You know, Dawin, as you know, We've been exploring it for a year. Uh, it has a lot of awesome species. And I want to see what species are in other locations. And this week, we're working with Scandi Divers. They brought us in here and they want to show us some different stuff that we might not have in Dawid. So I'm really excited. I talked to their uh, their critter expert and you know he's, he's naming off some awesome stuff. Hopefully we're gonna find some pygmy seahorses. We're definitely gonna do a hunt just for pygmy seahorses sometime this week. They have tons of sea fans. And I'm really excited, man, this, this is getting really nerdy, but I'm really excited for that because we only have one species of pygmy seahorse in Darwin, which is really strange to me. So we're gonna try to find another species because there's actually nine in the world. So I know Philippines has like three, four of them. So besides different species, like nudie, octopus, stuff like that, Let's see what else we can find today. Should be awesome. Big shout out to Scandi Divers, man. And look at this sand. We're definitely not used to the flowery white sand in Darwin. We have nice beaches, but they're the black volcanic sand, which is beautiful in a different way. But this is like soft on the feet. Let's go! Time to trade headgear. Let's go dive. When I arrived in Porta Galera, I was amazed about how many dive locations there are. But for our first dive, we're going to check out a place called Shipyard. Now this dive site is known as being a muck diving site with a lot of rubble and a lot of places for critters to hide. But we also ran into the remnants of this old boat that sank here during the lockdown. But what we're really looking for are those tiny little species that cling on to the rubble and the rocks and the grass. Like this nudie. This nudie is cloud colors and kind of weird looking. It's one I haven't really seen a lot in Darwin, so I spent a few minutes to film it. Now after all these flights and car rides and ferries, I gotta admit, I gotta get used to the camera again and get dialed in with all the colors and all the settings and lighting and everything because these first shots aren't really great and I was also concentrating on finding the little critters in the first place. But eventually I'll get the settings right and everything will look great. Now this little tiny anemone shrimp was one of my first subjects while I'm trying to fix the settings. But it's a little difficult because the video takes a lot different settings than the photo. So I keep having to change back and forth and it takes quite a bit of time. And to be honest, I haven't dove in like three days so I kind of forgot what settings to do. But eventually they start looking okay. And hey, this isn't National Geographic, right? You guys just want to see the cool species. Now I want you to remember this nudie break for later, and you'll know why soon. Now this is called a Pokemon nudie break, and it is the white kind. We see these quite a bit in Darwin at certain sites, but the real Pokemon nudie are the yellow ones. But this white one is pretty cool and I wasn't going to pass him up. It was about the size of my thumbnail and just off in the dirt. I'm not even sure how our guide found him. Now with all this current going on, all the species in this episode have their hair flapping in the wind. Well, metaphorically. And it was even hard for me to stay in place. With all this current going on, 
I had to stab my stake in the sand and hang on to try to get a smooth shot. But the effort was worth it because this little guy is fun to watch. And eventually I put on my strobe and I took a pretty decent photo of him. Not the greatest, but it's a good memory. Now you guys know that this is a skeleton shrimp, but as you can see it looks a lot different than the ones we find in Dowin. This one's got a big fat yellow body, while the ones in Dowin are like sticks and completely transparent. It's pretty cool. Yeah, you guys have seen this before on the channel. This loony break is a flabellina species, and even though I filmed it a lot of times before, there's no way I was going to pass it up. This guy isn't exactly in the right position, all tangled up in a ball and flapping in the breeze, but I'm not going to pass him up. These guys are too beautiful. I'm just going to wait for him to slither around and get in a better position so I can see his face. And eventually he did a little bit. I got a little bit better position. But with this current going on and him just kind of swaying back and forth, it wasn't the easiest to film. But it's worth it just seeing these little species deep down under the ocean. I like when I can see their face and their rhinophores. I don't want to just focus on their body. And I eventually got a decent shot of this guy. They're always fun to see either way. And then check it out. It's the yellow looty break that I was telling you a minute ago about. And this isn't just the Pokemon looty break. It's the Pikachu. Now even though the current is making this guy fly in the wind, look at that, he's about to fly away. I better hurry and get my shot because I don't know how long he can hang on to the dirt. But anyways, this is the Pikachu Looney Break and I'm so glad that I actually found it right after I found the white one. So I can compare it and show you guys. Now like you can see, he is really hanging on for dear life. but. Eventually, I did get an okay photo. <laughs> One to remember, at least. So, this is a frogfish you guys see quite a bit. I think it's a painted frogfish, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe a clown frogfish. I usually ignore these because they're so frequent, but I got lucky with this guy. Because as he was sitting there, being lazy, a shrimp landed right in front of him look at that and he just ate it up i mean talk about a free meal you didn't have to move an inch that shrimp just committed suicide i mean it's not like he was hiding or blending in this bright orange traffic cone in the middle of the sand that he decided to go check out yeah i'm glad i got to catch that on camera i see this kind of stuff all the time but the camera's off and i'm like dang it i missed it but this time I got it. But that shrimp was pretty big though. So when I moved over to look at his face. He was still trying to escape. I can see his antenna sticking out. And he's trying to get out. This frog definitely bit off more than he can chew. But hey, talk about a good shrimp cocktail for dinner. So if this one dive is an indication of how my week's going to be here at Porta Galera then I'm super excited. I have one week here with Scandi divers and we're gonna explore as many dive sites as possible and see what kind of species we can find that we haven't seen before.